Hi, it's me, Johnny V, and this is Sunday, week six of Vlogger Tag. Well, this week I officially moved to Florida. I got my new driver's license, and now the last vestige of my New York identity is the 718 area code on my cell phone. And I gotta tell you, I'm very glad that I moved down here. Uh, when I first came down here, I was sick and came down, you know, needing my parents' help to get better. But I was very definite that I had to get back to New York. But my stays down here got longer and longer. And every time I got back up to New York, I noticed that the streets had gotten just a little bit narrower and just a little bit more full of potholes. And all the things that I liked so much were slowly changing. And I found that I'm very fond of living here in Florida. Like being able to park in front of the places that I go without trouble. I like the friendly pace. A lot of people think that people in New York are angry or rude, but it's not true. I've met a lot of nice people in New York, as well as down here. I think in life it's important to remember the nice people you meet and forget about the obnoxious ones. And the problem is in New York there's a higher population density, so you're more likely to run into those obnoxious people, you know, whatever, three per hundred, whatever they are. And you just have to forget about them. But I'm glad to be uh, a Floridian now. Also this week I got my hair cut, uh, went to my favorite place. Uh, when I was up in New York, I had a barber that I used for, I think, about 25 years until the guy retired. I'm very, I'm very loyal when it comes to stuff like that. <clears throat> and uh, now I go to Fred's Barbershop, which is in Crystal River, Florida, which is a nice place to go. They got a lot of nice stylists there. Always got a good haircut. And it's nice and cheap. It's about, <clears throat> I think, 7 or $8 for a razor cut. Um, trimming the mustache and the beard is like three bucks. It's nice. Uh, the only thing is, when I first started going there, Fred's, uh, they had less chairs and they had a lot of antiques on the walls. Sort of like the stuff you might see at a TGI Fridays. You know, sort of quirky things like, um, I think, yeah, you know, like a, like a whale harpoon or, uh, pieces from, uh, you know, jet engine turbine or something like that. I'm not saying it well. Old signs, you know, old barbershop signs, stuff like that. And um, now they expanded and they still have some of that stuff, but they have more chairs. So, I mean, hey, good for Fred. He's expanding his business, but um, I kind of like that uh, quaint feeling that it used to have. And like I said, I loved having moved down here, but Every time I see another vacant lot turn into retail space. Oh, it scares me. I mean, again, I want people down here to do well, but I like having those nice open fields when I drive around up here in Citrus County. And the problem is also, there's a lot of underused retail space up here. And the problem is, someone, <clears throat> you know, they open a strip mall, and over a couple of years it fails and it closes down. And it never turns into nature again. It just stays this unused strip mall. And then they build over another one. So, love it down here. But I'd like it to stay the place that I moved to. So, anyway. Thanks for listening. You guys have a great week. And I'll see you next Sunday.